Well, very quickly, we're back to the action in the saddle bronc riding where Tyler Corrington got out there on timely delivery. Another one of those great Calgary horses. Just a young horse, but an awfully good one. Six-year-old from the Calgary Stampede Firm. And Tyler Corrington getting things done there on timely delivery. I think that was actually Tyrell Larson that we're looking at down there, Dave. The cowboy from Manitoba, from Inglis, Manitoba. What a great rodeo family that is. And that was the Calgary horse, Lynx Mountain, the 2009 Canadian Professional Rodeo Association Horse of the Year. The horse has been to the national finals, the Wrangler national finals, and our Canadian finals as well. How about the Manitoba Cowboy? That looked good. Oh, I'll tell you. And Tyrell Larson, of course, you talk about Lynx Mountain, a horse of the year in Canada. Just a real solid, solid performance by the young man. And once again, we'll see if we can get that score to you as quickly as possible. Jacobs Crowley. Now... He's got a horse called Lunatic Party, and I'm picking this guy because of this horse. This horse saw this horse in Airdrie. They won first and third, including an 87 and a half on the back of this horse. We had an 85 for our first man out, 0.75, 85.75 for Tyrell Larson. All right, so he takes the early lead, Doug. Jacobs Crowley, and watch this. Outlaw Buckers horse, Lunatic Party, sensational. Pinto horse, good looking horse, exactly. Bucks, big time. They raise a lot of their horses, but they actually purchased this horse at the Bucking Horse Sale in Las Vegas. Uh oh, horse is a little shy tonight. Well, you get the name Lunatic Party, and <laughs> you know, you're going to have some of that kind of thing going on. But I'll tell you one thing when this horse gets out there, the party will start. Oh, we can see some very excited cowboys down there tonight helping that cowboy on. It looks like he's got Roddy Hay on the front end. Looks like we've got Dale Woodward from Mount Buckers on the back end. They'll make sure that he gets out of there in good shape. This horse is a little wild and very strong. Well, and we saw the horse have not a, a, the best day over there at Wainwright, but boy, I'll tell you, this weekend been absolutely sensational. Having Roddy Hay, an eight times Canadian champion, helping you, that's not bad. I think there's a few last-minute advice situations going on down there right now for that cowboy. I'll tell you one thing. I know he's a, Jacobs Crowley's a confident guy, but if I was him, I'd be saying, hey, Roddy, what do you think? Looks like we're going to actually move, though, in the meantime, because Court Shear, as we were having a little trouble getting Jacobs out, we're going to move over to Court Shear. A Wayne Bold horse called Eclipse. This is a, we saw this horse last week. Just a tremendous bucking horse right here. Deja vu from last weekend at Wainwright. Eclipse was to the Canadian Finals Rodeo a ton of times. The Wrangler National Finals as well. Big, strong horse, and this horse is a little wild and very fast. We'll watch this. Heels of the boots out over the points of the horse's shoulders. We've got that done. There's the kick from that big horse. Listen to the crowd. They're liking it. We are too. Toes turned out. There's the horn. That's just a whole bunch of power right there. That horse is big, stout, strong, throwing a whole lot of power at that cowboy. But Court Shear was equal to the test. Seen this American cowboy on this side of the 49th parallel a lot over the last two, three years. And he can be so very, very good. He too is, is waiting. He liked this, 87.75. There's the reaction and deservedly so. Right to the head of the class. Good news for him. Nice job when you need to. It's all about capitalizing at this rodeo. All right, now it looks like we're moving over to Tyler Corrington because timely delivery is in there right there. So it is Tyler Corrington. We'll go back to Jacobs Crowley. He's on another pinto horse, that lunatic party. So we know that this is Tyler Corrington and timely delivery. And we talked about that Calgary Stampede breeding program, six-year-old product of it right here. Exactly. For years and years, we watched Zippy Delivery at the Calgary Stampede win the Cowboys a ton of money. This is Zippy Delivery's baby right here. And, of course, grated coconut is the sire. It doesn't get any better than that. Well, and a full sibling, to, of course, to that special delivery that we saw earlier. So uh, I'll tell you what, this is outstanding. Now, I, of course, chose Jacobs Crowley because of Lunatic Party. Who did you have in here? I had Tyrell Larson. I'm okay. two points behind you now. Dave. All right. Well, there you go. You see, I'm leading right now in the bronc riding. But I'll tell you something. You can't rule out either of these last two men right now as Tyler Corrington gets ready. That horse has just bounced ahead a little bit. Cowboy's going to reset. If you lose a stirrup during the ride, that'll mean no score. He's got those stirrups firmly over the feet. Ooh. Look at the kick. Ooh, man. Yes, go, Cowboy, go. 
Now what the judges look for, of course, is that kick back over the head and that horse kicking right back over his head. That was a spectacular trip from that bucking horse, timely delivery. And Tyler Corrington, I'll tell you what, he looked really, really solid right there. Totally in control. He's happy about it. Hasn't even heard the score yet, and he's happy. <laughs> We didn't see anything wrong with either the cowboy or the bucking horse. That was great timing. That'll be reflected in the score with an 87.75 to the top side so far. Listen to this. Until right now, 88.25. Tyler Corrington goes to the head of the class. Well, so that sets the stage. We've got the 88.25 from Tyler Corrington, and we've got Jacobs Crowley getting ready on the lunatic party that we talked about. Now we'll see if the horse feels like it this time. I got a good feeling about this. Well, it never hurts to be a little bit hot. And Jacobs Crawley has been very hot over the last while. This cowboy has won seven rodeos this year already south of the border in the United States. So he is coming in here hot. And to top it off, this cowboy is lucky. I watched him today. He is a good guy. I'll tell you what, I love this matchup right here. Jacobs Crawley, this of course was my pick, but it's going to be a little tough now. you got to be 88 and a half to win this thing, but don't bet against Jacobs Crowley and the Lunatic Party. Stephenville, Texas Cowboy, and awfully, awfully good. We've watched him so many times. Oh, I love this matchup. Now watch him very carefully measure that brown crane. And he's doing that right now, taking a pretty long rein on this horse and ready to go. Watch this. Jacobs Crowley, Lunatic Party. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's what we've come to expect from that horse. It's another good day for Lunatic Party. Look well, out. And did you see Jacobs Crowley using his feet to advantage? I mean, he was really spurring on the back of that horse. Now, is it going to be enough? That's the key, Doug. Well, it's all in the opinion of our officials right now. We've got four of them out there. It's going to be as fair as possible. He's watching the replay on the screen, and look at the smile. Yeah. I think he's pretty happy with it. <laughs> now let's see if we can get him enough points to be the champion because Tyler Corrington leading the way right now, 88-25. Look at that. Look at that. That is nice. How about this? 89.25. Jacobs Crowley and the Lunatic Party right there. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is sensational. 89.25. Jacobs Crowley is going to be our champion and $5,000 richer. Anytime you get that great horse, you got an awfully good chance to win it.